Right out of the gate, it's important to note that for the past three consecutive years, the Yamaha VX Cruiser high output has remained the highest selling personal watercraft in the world. Again, let me reiterate, the highest selling personal watercraft in the world. And with PwC sales the highest they've been since 2007, Yamaha Motor Corp USA wowed the industry by rolling out an incredible 11 new models for 2021, making this the single largest new product launch in the brand's 35 years of watercraft production. Coming into 2021, Yamaha focused on its most popular series, the VX Wave Runners, by integrating a king's ransom of new standard features and accessories that previously were unavailable on models other than the higher-end FX series runabouts. Of course, the biggest addition to the VX series is the new top-of-the-line model, the 2021 VX Limited High Output. Yamaha married its single most popular wave runner with its everything but the kitchen sink limited accessory package previously exclusive on the TR1 powered VX Cruiser and the flagship FX Cruiser SVHO. For those unacquainted, the limited package provides buyers with nearly the entirety of Yamaha's accessory catalog, including a matching ski cover, a color match tube, and rope, a tube inflator, a tube holder, rope bag, and two Yamaha fenders. New to the limited package for 2021 is the inclusion of Yamaha's factory installed marine audio system. Comprised of twin 4.5 inch waterproof marine speakers, an integrated 2 channel 50 watts per channel amplifier, and a low voltage regulator to protect the battery that's all operated by an easy to access control pad found below the handlebars on the left hand side. And also below the handlebars is an all new glove box. And not only is it the largest glove box ever offered in the VX series, it's also watertight and lit with blue LED lighting coming from a USB and 12 volt powered outlet as standard equipment. In fact, all of the VX Limited's base storage is up, from 24.6 gallons to 28.4 gallons, thanks to a wider bow compartment for easier access, a more durable high strength hinge and dampener, and a snap top water resistant box found beneath the rear seat. The complete redesign of the VX Series deck also provides deeper and wider self-draining footwells, a broad, flat rear swim platform, and a completely reshaped seat that radically improves rider comfort and ergonomics. Add to that new standard features like 5-point adjustable steering and a full-color digital dashboard, and the VX has seriously stepped up its game. Drivers now enjoy the industry's first full-color LCD helm control. The 4.3-inch screen displays Yamaha's Kinect software, reading off fuel mileage and consumption rates, a pin security code, and even the ability to preset a maximum speed, all controlled by a touchpad located beneath the steering on the right-hand side. Kinects can also adjust acceleration speeds from normal to slow, which is ideal for less confident riders, a smart addition as last year marked the first time in decades that a percentage of first-time buyer sales eclipsed that of return buyers. Just aft of the gauges is the newly standardized multi-mount accessory system integrated into the dashboard. Now riders can simply screw in a RAM ball mount and attach any number of items, like a GPS, fishing rod holder, an action camera, or whatever you have. With the deck's redesign comes a reshaped saddle that is one and a half inches narrow and slightly tapered at the knees, allowing the rider better lower body grip while cornering and greater comfort while cruising. This new seat mounts to a secondary deck panel, similar to those first used on the EX Series Wave Runners, providing greater engine access when removed. Below that panel is Yamaha's naturally aspirated high output 1812cc four cylinder. Producing a reliable 180 horsepower on 87 octane, the Yamaha High Output 4-Stroke delivers plenty of low-end grunt for towing the kids on a raft or just ripping across the lake. It is the same power plant used in the race-ready GP1800R HO after all. In fact, that's not all the VX Limited HO shares with the GP1800R. The VX models share the same hull and deck molds as the performance-bred GP, 
meaning the two series share similar handling and cornering characteristics. The differences between the two are in their material construction. The VX Limited HO is molded in Yamaha's proprietary Nano Excel clay, providing a thinner yet equally durable molecular bond as FMC, which dramatically shaves weight, while the GPs are cast in Yamaha's Nano Excel 2 material, shaving off even more weight. Thankfully, the VX Limited's casting is far more forgiving in rougher water, soaking up a lot of the chatter and vibrations that comes from streaking across a bumpy lake. Striking a balance between sporty and comfortable is a hallmark of the high output VX's, and the Limited is no different. Equally, both series share the same 18.5 gallon fuel cell, providing the VX Limited HO plenty of range for those looking to rack up some serious mileage. Though for 2021, the VX Limited HO does pack on a few extra pounds over previous models, coming in at 794 pounds which is 27 pounds over last year's model. Backing out of the dock using Yamaha's dual throttle ride system is a cinch, as its quick forward and reverse response is second to none. And since the VX Limited HO comes equipped with Yamaha's easy to operate cruise assist and no wake mode features, idling through the marina's prolonged slow speed zone was a breeze. For 2021, Yamaha radically redesigned its steering controls as well. Gone are the traditional start-stop buttons, replaced by a single ignition and kill switch moved to the right-hand side. Equally, the cruise assist and no wake toggles are on the left, while the speed control toggle is now on the right. It's a slightly frustrating change that's going to take a while for us more experienced to reprogram our muscle memory. Once past the buoys, we could open up the VX for some fun. With nearly a full tank, we managed a respectable 62 miles per hour at 7,500 RPM. According to our rough math, that equals roughly 13.5 gallons per hour at wide open throttle. When otherwise operated, the VX Limited HO is torquey, with satisfying throttle response offering a playful ride without feeling loose or squirrely. It's certainly fun enough for Dad to come back to shore with a big smile on his face, with enough static and dynamic stability for Mom to feel confident while piloting on her own. For 2021, the Yamaha VX Limited HO comes in carbon with lime yellow, with coordinated two-tone hydroturf deck mats. The iridescent yellow is a little flashy for some people's taste, but Yamaha is pouring on the bold for 2021, and that's alright with us. Given the balance of an enjoyable, predictable ride, radically improved ergonomics, and an avalanche of accessories, all with a price tag of $13,549, it's no wonder that the 2021 VX Limited High Output is going to be yet another home run for Yamaha. I'm Kevin Shaw and you've been watching the Watercraft Journal. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, leave a comment, and share it with your friends. It definitely helps us grow. And if you want more reviews like this, please visit www.watercraftjournal.com where new articles are published Monday through Friday, entirely subscription free to you.